Back inside Bramlage Coliseum on the campus of Kansas State University. It's the Kansas State Wildcats and the TCU Horn Frogs. No, but seriously, they love to middle. They love to run the middle ball screen. They love to put the de defense in awkward, in awkward predicaments and, and make you make harsh, hard decisions on the defensive. And the first points on the board for Kansas State. Here's the one to Samuel. Great feed, and Kevin Samuel paid it off. Levi Stocker checking in for Mac Mayweed and makes his most of his playing time. Levi Stocker. Gay Jada, one of the real intriguing personalities in college basketball. Sneed, baseline, jumper, got it, and the foul. But it doesn't drop, and Grayer has the weak side rebound. Bain gives it up. Fuller in the corner for three. Got it. And the strike against Iowa State. Luckily, they were able to pull out that overtime win. I think a part of that is the big fella that only shoots in the 30s. Nice take by Sneed, mm. and he has another chance at a three-point play. With no Sneed and no Jada in, I'm interested to see where Kansas State will get their offense from. Who will be that guy? Who will step up? I'll tell you, score? David <laughs> Sloan with his first bucket. That's a triple. Tend to shoot. Here's Bain. And he gets to the rim and an easy two for Desmond Bain. He's guarding Edric Dennis. Five on the shot clock for the Frogs. Bain for three. Got it. Into a little punch counter punch. TCU back on top by four. Mayween. Nice turnaround from the big guy. Counting down. Four minutes to go in the first half. Here's Sloan, around, and Montavious Murphy has his first bucket of the game. Across, Nemhart open, and makes it count. RJ Nemhart, all you give him is a sliver of space, and he's going to make you pay. And on the shot clock for the Frogs. Now two to shoot. Bain does. And nails it with the shot clock winding down right now yep, against the, the Baylor against Bears. The Baylor Bears. That's a great pass. Here's Dennis. Got the three pointer. Wide open look for Edric Dennis. Storyline of this game so far. Why are they up nine? Because they've hit six three pointers. Kansas State has only hit one so far. There's Mayween with his third bucket. C wants the ball. Nimhar wants the ball with the, the clock running down. Two seconds. They got it Ooh. off, and it counts. Five to shoot. High hedge by Mayween. Now three on the shot clock. Grayer didn't recognize it, but he got mm. the shot off and makes it go. And now, with three minutes gone by in the second half, TCU has its largest lead of the game. Good answer. Chance for Kansas State to get on a little run, and there's the Cartier Jada that we expected to see. Mm. Jada down the seam, kicked it to Murphy, who knocks down a three. In for Jada, almost threw it away. Saved by Sneed, he has six on the shot clock. Oh. He gets the foul and the bucket. Experience. The team that one picked off by Fuller. Fuller. Oh. A little out of control, but the tip by Grayer. Here's Gordon Olo. Mayween with the screen and roll. Jada gives it back to Sneed. Mm. Nowhere to go, gives it back to Sneed. Mm. And to Schwab Gordon gets the miss. And it's turned over. Got at the other end. Mm. Time for the Horn Frogs to win it. Nimhard wants it. He wants it. Nimhard for the game winner. It's short. Oh. The tip by Samuel. It's good. And there's 1.7 left. Instead, it's inbounded to Sloan. From inside half court for the win. Oh. It's off the mark. In their first true road game of the year, TCU Horn Frogs pull off the win by two against Kansas State, 59-57.